The schools build or destroy our creativity. Creativity is the use of imagination or original ideas, and it can be used in everything and not just arts. Schools being one of the first institutions of learning, this is where creative thinking or creative learning is expected to be developed. Most of the times, students are not encouraged to have many perceptions or logics, which makes their learning process very singular focus. And many times, learning is more focused towards exams and grades. I love art. However, there is this mindset that has been created for children that any type of arts is not as essential as the core subjects. Parents are more than okay to share that their child is not good at art or music. And they even laugh about it. But they find it embarrassing to share that their child is not good at math or science. There are more and enough tuitions for math science. However, art, it is just considered as a hobby or something you do in your vacations. Now this is what I disagree with. I prefer doing art and music rather than science and math. Why? Not because I like music and art, but because I believe that they develop my mind and my creativity has in many ways which a lot of subjects may not be able to. Creativity is one of the most essential concepts out of all that a child needs. Now, kids being taught in such a single focused way have no exposure to their abilities at all, in view of the fact that they are being held against their will. Now, this is where the attested question comes. Do schools kill our creativity? Some people, yes. Like Sir Ken Robinson and my mom. But to some people, no, not at all. I can relate this with my little sister. She was once trying to draw and bring out her emotions on a piece of paper through a very immature, yet a very meaningful drawing. And there comes my aunt, bombarding her ideas, telling her what to do, molding her from her own point of view. Opinions, 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 questions, questions, questions. And that young child's creativity sinks under the skin of manipulators, or rather, the killers of creativity. Since that day, I've been curious about how this can change a perspective of a child, which has led me to a few conclusions. First, spend some time understanding the process, the process, the child's process of thinking, and before checking it also, understand that they have put their efforts in it. By telling them what to do, will not only just make them lazy, but will also demotivate them as they will want to invest less time inventing or discovering something new in the future. Second, it is okay for a child to go beyond the rule book. If a child is drawing or writing something in the notebook which is not part of the rule book, just let it be. By telling them what to do will make them really lazy and will decrease the chances of being creative in the future. Creativity is an important part of them. In fact, it is the most important skill of the 21st century medium. While some schools are doing it, it will be great if all schools around the world will allow creative thinking as a part of their learning process.